Hello and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Penny, and welcome to another of our closed test units. Yay! Yay! For you today, we have a look at something most kids and many adults absolutely love. Cartoons! Yay! <laughs> cartoons! Whether you love some of the classic Disney cartoons or movies, or maybe some of those old favorites from when you were growing up, or you could be more of a fan of the new shows that you can find on TV or on your computer. Cartoons with their colorful characters. Fun stories and exciting action have been bringing joy to kids of all ages for many, many years. But while most of us do think of cartoons as just some fun things to watch once in a while, we must remember that unlike most other TV shows and movies, many of the people watching cartoons are kids, often really little kids. Mm, and those young children, without the experience of older kids or adults, can often learn things from cartoons in a different way. What might just be something funny from a show for older people might seem more real for the little ones. So our closed test this month is going to look at some of the good and not so good things that kids can learn from cartoons. It should be interesting. It definitely will, and since it is our closed test article, we will have a few blank spaces in the text that we will need to fill in with one of our four word options. So please pay attention. First, though, let's look at today's vocabulary. 好，今天的课文是关于 cartoon 卡通影片。小朋友都喜欢看卡通，那通常卡通的故事都很好懂，不但有丰富的色彩，还有酷炫的音效。那有些卡通呢，也会教小朋友正确的行为举止。先来看两个单字，刚刚说到音效，我们有用到单字 sound， sound 就表示声音或是声响。它是个名词，比如 ，I love listening to the sound of waves. I love listening to the sound of waves. 我喜欢听海浪的声音。下一个单词 ，act. Act 在课文里面是当动词来表达行为表现。看到两个朋友像小孩子一样互相骂来骂去，这时候旁边可能会说 ，Stop it! You two are acting like children. Stop it! You two are acting like children. 不要再吵了，你们两个的行为举止表现的跟小孩子一样，可以成熟一点吗？好，课文接着写到说，孩子们也有可能会从卡通影片学到不好的事情，他们也许会模仿那些不良行为去伤害别人。这边用到两个单字 ，copy，copy， copy, 它表示模仿、效法，是个动词。例如 ，Don't copy what others do. Just be yourself. Don't copy what others do. Just be yourself. 不要模仿别人的行为，做自己就好了。最后一个单词 hurt. Hurt 是指伤害、危害，在这边是个动词。那么动词三态同形 hurt, hurt, hurt. 例如 ，Be careful not to hurt yourself. Be careful not to hurt yourself. 小心别弄伤自己喽。好，那现在看完单词例句，我们来读课文吧。What kids learn from cartoons? Kids love cartoons because they're fun to watch. The pictures are full of color, and the stories are easy to follow. There are cool and interesting sounds too. Kids learn a lot from cartoons. They often teach kids the right ways to act. For example, they teach kids to be kind to others and to work as a team. However, kids can also learn bad things from cartoons. Kids may copy those bad actions and hurt others. So, parents should check the cartoons before they let their kids watch them. Explanation one. Okay, so as we can see up there, the title of the article is "What Kids Learn from Cartoons," 
And the first sentence tells us something that I'm sure is not news to anyone out there. It says. Kids love cartoons because they're fun to watch. Well, duh, definitely. <laughs> I'd even add that many adults also love cartoons for exactly the same reason. Different cartoons, maybe, but cartoons have lots of fans of all ages because they're fun. Yeah, and as we read on, we learn about some of the different things that cartoons have to make them fun for everyone to watch. We read. The pictures are color, and the stories are easy to follow. Yeah, the stories are usually easy to follow, especially the cartoons that younger kids watch. Yeah, and the stories are also something to do with color. Not many black and white cartoons out there anymore, are there? No,、mm. lots of color. But since we can see that the first blank space of the day was in that part of the sentence, we don't know exactly what the cartoons were about color. So let's figure it out. Our four options here are: A, happy with; B, up to; C, proud of; or D, full of. Hmm. This question is about the picture, color, scene, story, and overall impression. First, let's look at option A. Happy with 就可以表达对什么什么感到满意。B up to 表示高达多少多达什么。C proud of 表示为什么而感到骄傲。那么 D full of 它表示充满充斥着什么？那我们都知道卡通影片的画面充满了色彩。Be full of color 就可以表达富含色彩、充满色彩。其他三个选项语义都不符合，所以最适合答案是 D full of。So this full sentence would be the pictures are full of color and the stories are easy to follow. Ah yes, full of color. Or in other words, the cartoons are Colorful, <laughs> full of color, colorful. You say yes, definitely. And it's not just that cartoons are fun for our eyes; they are also great entertainment for our ears too. 卡通影片可以同时为我们的视觉和听觉带来娱乐效果。那这边补充一下 ，entertain 这个动词可以表达娱乐，使什么欢乐。那它的名词 entertainment 就可以表达娱乐，娱乐节目或是娱乐活动。Okay, the next sentence says there are cool and interesting sounds too, like funny and exciting sound effects, great music, and also wonderful voice actors who make the characters and their words come alive. So there is a lot of entertainment going on in even the simplest cartoon. That's clear, and this is why they're so popular. But next we read. Kids learn a lot from cartoons. Yeah, kids often only watch cartoons. You don't see many five-year-olds sitting down to, I don't know, watch the news or a science show on TV. They're little kids. They like cartoons. Yeah, but their little brains are also learning about the world around them through the cartoons. We read. They often teach kids the. Ways to act, and here the four options are: A. Open, B. Right, C. Wrong, or D. Strange. 好，这个题目是说他们时常教导小孩空格行为举止。那么空格要填入一个形容词。那么选项 A。Open， 它表示打开的、敞开的。B right 表示正确的、对的。C wrong 表示错误的、不对的。那么 D strange 表示奇怪的。那么课文前一句有提到孩子们从卡通影片当中学习到很多，所以就可以推测这个题目是要表达说孩子能从卡通里面学到的东西。那我们就是要选比较正向的形容词喽，用 right 比较适合。那其他像打开的、错的、奇怪的语义。都不符合，所以这题要选 B. Right. So the correct sentence is: They often teach kids the right way to act. Sure, cartoons can give great lessons to kids. 
Many of them have great characters who spend their time helping each other and making the world a better place. As an example of that, we read, for example, they teach kids and to work as a team. Aha, yeah, working as a team is good. And so we probably have another good thing to go in that first blank space. The options that we can see here are A, to be kind to others. B, to be nice to just themselves. C, to lie to their parents. Or D, not to play with others. 好，这个题目是说，例如他们教导孩子们空格以及团队合作。先来看选项 A， to be kind to others， 表示对他人和善。B， to be nice to just themselves， 表示独善其身，只对自己好。C， to lie to their parents， 表示对父母撒谎。D， not to play with others。不和其他人一起玩。那这个句子是在举例说明卡通影片教导孩子们的正确行为举止。那答案就很明显喽，答案只能选 A。To be kind to others， 对他人和善，待人和善。So with the correct answer in place， we get。For example， they teach kids to be kind to others。And to work as a team, being kind to others is great, and so is working as a team, especially when you do both at the same time. Well, team, we are doing a great job at this so far. So let's take a break right now, and then we'll be back to finish it off. See you soon. Explanation two. All right. So far, we've been reading about some of the good lessons that kids might learn from watching cartoons. But just as there are lots of kids watching cartoons, there are also lots of different types of cartoons. Some might be filled with great stories of characters helping each other and being kind. Sure, but other types of cartoons are focused more on entertainment. And can sometimes deliver not so good or even dangerous lessons to kids. Let's read on to find out more. Okay, so the next sentence says, "However, kids can learn bad things from cartoons." And our four options for this blank space are: A, two; B, never; C, also; or D, hardly. 好，这个题目是说，然而孩子们空格会从卡通影片中学习到不好的事情。那句子开头的 however 表示然而，它是用来引出跟前一段相反的事实。那我们就可以知道接下来是要谈卡通的坏处喽。好，那选项 B never 从未 ，D hardly 表示几乎不，孩子从未或是几乎不会学到不好的事，这样就跟语义不符合了嘛。那这两个选项可以先删除不考。考虑，那么选项 A two 和 C also 都可以表达也，孩子们也会学到不好的事。那这个语义是通顺的，可是 two 要摆在句尾，它的用法不符合，那只剩下 also。also 通常会摆在 be 动词之后，或是一般动词之前，所以这题的答案要选 C also。So the correct sentence should read. However, kids can also learn bad things from cartoons, and we get an example next. It says, "Kids may copy those bad actions and hurt others."、Ooh. Well, yes, I guess this could be a danger, especially with the young children who don't understand what can happen when we do things. Cartoon characters rarely get hurt, for example, but real humans, we do.、Mm, and this is just one reason why everyone, especially parents and older, wiser people, need to be careful and pay attention to what the kids are watching and learning. As it says in the final sentence of the article. So parents should check the cartoons before they let their kids. Them, I think I can guess what it is, but there is a final missing word here that we need to take care of.、Mm, and in our final group, we have a 
to watch, B, watching, C, watch, or D, watched. 好，这个题目是说，因此在让小孩空格卡通之前，父母应该先检视哪些卡通是没问题的。这题是在考我们 let 的用法。Let 是实义动词，那要表达 A 让 B 做某事，这个句型是 A lets B 加上原形动词。特别注意这个动词是原形哦。例如 ，They don't let their kids stay up late. 他们不让孩子熬夜熬太晚。那所以这题的正确答案就要选原形动词是 C watch. So we finish the article with this sentence. So parents should check the cartoons before they let their kids watch them.、Mm. Sure, or even better, watch them with your kids so that you can talk about what they are seeing. And you'll, as a parent, probably be entertained just like the kids are. Since yes. For the most part, cartoons are just lots of fun. And we hope you guys have had fun here with us today in our closed test unit. We'll see you back here very soon. Bye bye. 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 What kids learn from cartoons? Kids love cartoons because they're fun to watch. The pictures are full of color, and the stories are easy to follow. There are cool and interesting sounds too. Kids learn a lot from cartoons. They often teach kids the right ways to act. For example, they teach kids to be kind to others and to work as a team. However, kids can also learn bad things from cartoons. Kids may copy those bad actions and hurt others. So. Parents should check the cartoons before they let their kids watch them. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。今天要介绍的文法重点是配对连接词的用法。配对连接词又称为相关连接词，它是指有两个字的连接词，用来连接对等的字。词或是句子，强调在平行结构的两个部分。我们今天会学到四个配对连接词。首先，第一个是 both A and B， 表示 A 和 B 两者都是，或者是既是 A 又是 B。那句型中的 A 和 B 结构必须对等，属性也要相同。例如 ，Kathy does everything both carefully and quickly。Kathy 做每件事既谨慎又快速。要请同学们特别注意，如果 both 和 and 是在连接两个主词时，那后面要接复数动词，像是 both Annie and her sister are flight attendants. Annie 和她的姐姐都是空服员。句中的主词是 both Annie and her sister， 那后面要接复数动词 are。第二个要介绍的是 not only A but also B， 表示不仅 A 而且 B， 其中的 also 可以省略。那这个句型是在强调后者的字词或是子句，也就是 B 的部分。例如 ，Sophie has been to not only England but also France. Sophie 不止去过英国，也去过法国。那这句话是在强调也去过法国。同学们在使用 not only A but also B 当主词时，动词必须配合 B 这个主词。例如 ，Not only the French fries but also the spaghetti tastes salty. 不仅是薯条，连意大利面都尝起来很咸。那句中的动词要配合第二个主词 spaghetti， 所以才会用单数动词 taste。第三个要介绍的是 either A or B， 这是用来表达二选一，表达不是 A 就是 B。那在连接主词时，动词同样要配合第二个主词，也就是 be 的部分，像是 either you or Luke has to pick up your sister today. 你或是 Luke 今天必须要去接你们的妹妹。由于后者主词是 Luke， 所以我们用单数动词 has。第四个要介绍的是 neither A nor B， 这是用来表达两者皆非，表示既不是 A 也不是 B。那在连接主词时，动词也要配合后者主词 be。例如 ，Neither he nor I like doing the dishes. 他和我都不喜欢洗碗。句子里的动词要配合后者主词 I， 所以才用 like。最后再帮同学们整理这四个配对连接词以及动词的关系。当他们用来连接主词时 ，both A and B 后面一定要接复数动词。那么其他三个 ，Not only A but also B。
either A or B, neither A nor B， 则是以最靠近动词的主词 B 来决定动词单复数。例如 ，Both Sean and I are on the school basketball team. Sean 和我都是篮球校队。句中要使用复数动词 are。如果要表达 Sean 和我都不是篮球校队，句子就变成 Neither Sean nor I am on the school basketball team. 句中的动词是配合 I， 所以用 am。以上是今天的讲解，我们下次见。See you next time. Bye. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天要用一分钟的时间来复习四个单词，还会造四个例句。同学们准备好了没？好，一分钟，计时开始。第二单词是声音、声响的意思，这次叫什么 ？Sound， sound， 像像是 sound effect， 声音的效果，那就是音效喽。OK， Karen was woken up by the sound of thunder。Karen 被雷声吵醒了。第二单字呢，它可以当动词来表达行为或是表现，这个字叫做 act。act， 我们常用 act like 怎么样怎么样来表达表现的像什么什么，像 don't act like a fool， 不要表现的像个傻瓜一样。第三单字呢是模仿效法，它也有复制贴上那个复制的意思，它叫做 copy。copy 不要念成 copy。OK， the boy likes to copy everything his older brother does。那个男孩喜欢模仿他哥哥做每件事，很爱学哥哥。第四个单词呢是动词，表达伤害、危害。这个字叫做 hurt， hurt。动词三态是一样的。Okay， Sean didn't realize he, that he had hurt his girlfriend's feelings. Sean 没有意识到自己已经伤害到他女朋友感受了，回去应该跪算盘了。好，不管怎么样，我们已经复习完四个单词，也造完例句了。同学们记得多多复习哦。我们下次见，拜拜。See you next time.